What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We got a good one for you today, so I hope you're ready for this. Um, this is going to be an awesome video. Just a little bit. Of, this is just an entry comparison and a little bit to add on to my video. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is some Mac brushless tools. That's right. So I have three Mac brushless tools now. I have gotten myself into the Mac line. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a good get a good picture of all that. Yeah, so we got a we got three Mac brushless tools. And uh, we're gonna do some comparisons and talk a little bit about these. First of all, what I'm going to talk about though is, is besides this one, which I've been using. This is the this is the uh, DC this is the MCF 894 mid torque impact up to 600 foot pounds breakaway. This thing's been awesome. I really like this impact. It's got impact assist, and if you guys don't know what impact assist is, is that impact assist is a pretty good, pretty cool deal that I like for mechanics. Um, let's just go over that. This is a half inch drive gun, so I'm going to talk about impact assist. As soon as this light goes, let me let me shut the light off so I don't blind you guys. So impact assist is down here in the bottom. You'll see it down here on the switch and it's to the far left if you're holding the tool. On low, what impact assist does is impact assist is exactly what it sounds like. So if you're running a fastener in... It'll take it all the way out just fine with full force. But if you're running it in, it runs it in on a slow speed. See how much it's lower the speed? Now if I put it up to full speed, see how fast it is? Now I've done a video on this before. This specific impact is that, but the impact assist is nice if you're running down bolts that you have to torque or you want to hand tighten, but you just want to run them down fast. It gets it down and it starts to, and it starts to leave it. And it'll, it'll, it'll actually stop. Actually, impact assist is in the middle. I apologize. I messed up. The video is going to show. I don't care. I'm good with that. See how it stops? So it'll stop. It'll run the bolt down. And it'll stop for a brief second. See how it goes? So it'll... And I'm holding the trigger... I'm holding the trigger down, and the Mac Impact, the little 601, it has impact assist also. That's what the button is here in the top when you click it in the first green one. That's impact assist, and we'll show you on this one a little bit. So see how it runs it down? And then it stops, but I'm still holding my finger on the trigger, but then it goes again. What that does is it keeps you from over tight torquing a bolt. So if you just want to run something down, especially on this little guy, What's really cool about it, this little guy is, is, let's say I'm running down a bunch of valve cover bolts, and I don't want to run them in with this, and I'd rather hand tighten them. I can zip them all in, and not worry about over tightening them. So that's really cool. I like that feature. The impact assist is cool on those. Um, this little guy here is a beast too. I'll tell you what. We're going to compare this, the Milwaukee... Hex impact driver. This is the quarter inch um, impact driver. Model number. Let's see what this is. I never can find Milwaukee. This is a 2553-20. We're going to compare these three. Basically what it's going to come down to. I'm going to do a test with these three. Compare them all to each other. And tell you the things that I don't like. I. This was my favorite gun. This really was my favorite gun. The differences between these these impacts is they both have pretty much the same assist chuck, which is a big thing for me. I only hex drivers that I can do this to and don't have to pull on that ring is awesome. Mac or the DeWalt do the same thing. I can slide it into the chuck, which is a good feature. This MCF801 is a little powerhouse too. This thing's got some torque. Don't kid yourself. This is a clutch setting 11 on it, and I can't stop it. If 
If I put it on nine, I can stop it. Once I get up to 10, it gets a little bit harder. 11, a little bit harder. 13. Then we'll lock her all the way in. I can't stop it. It is a beast. This little guy right here has got almost as much power as this guy does. What I don't like about the Milwaukee that I've never liked is when you first hit the trigger, it's delayed. See how it ramps up? I would rather have that instant power from the trigger right away. I have, This thing will, has got me a couple times, which I've never noticed it before, but it does. It ha always has been in the back of my mind that annoys me because it goes... It slides in there, so it's a little bit harder to control the speed on this Milwaukee with that. Now, that wasn't on the highest setting. When you put it on three, it's more deliberate, and it is, it is, it's still got a slight delay, but it's just, it's got more, it's got a lot of power. Whereas this guy right here, I think it's more controllable. It's more user-friendly, in my opinion. You guys let me know down in that comment box if you think that, that's not the way. If you've used this, if you use the DeWalt version, the DeWalt version would be a DCF 1801. But 1.5 pounds. This little guy right here weighs with battery, I think right around two point something. It's quite a bit heavier. You can tell a huge difference. But for interior work, I'm really looking forward to this gun. Um, it's it's got a lot of power. I'm interested to see when I do the test on how much this one can do and this one can do. Because there's not enough, there's not a lot out there on this. Um, obviously, this thing will kick the crap out of this thing. There's no comparison. The DCF 601, is that right? I'm getting them confused. 801, excuse me. 601 is a smaller one. 801 will stomp this gun. It is definitely this gun is definitely lighter. The batteries are pretty much the same on these in all all shit in all fashion, except for this is a three amp hour and this is a four amp hour. Um, this only has three speed selections, and this obviously has four with the screw and the three extra speeds. The handles are quite a bit bigger, too. Let me see if I can do this so that I don't blind you guys. If you guys look at the handle width, the handles are definitely way bigger. So if you've got bigger hands, you might like the Milwaukee better, which is fine. This is a great tool. We are splitting hairs. Let me just go over, let me just put this out there right away. We are splitting hairs by comparing these tools. Because this tool is a great tool. No doubt about it. I am not saying that this tool is in no way, shape, or form not worthy of being used by a mechanic. I have been using it for quite some time and I've had it. And I've had a lot of time behind the trigger of this. The things that I don't like about it are the switch hangs up. It's not very fluent. I have never got it broken. It's It kind of, see how it, it doesn't go all the way? I got to give it that extra push. It's just kind of kind of wonky. Um, I don't like the battery set up on these because they wiggle down here at the bottom and I tend to push on them. It's not so much noticeable on this because I never usually give torque like this, but it's always in the back of my mind. So this, this gun fits my hand. It's very comfortable and I've talked, I've said good things about this gun before. The Milwaukee gun is no short, nothing short of being worthy of being in this test because I think they're the two best quarter inch hex in impacts on the market. But I wanted to give you guys a first look, um, just a comparison side by side and talk about them. And then we're going to go into doing some testing and do a video where I do some testing about, you know, all three of these together and kind of show the ins and outs of them. Give you a little bit of my perspective on it and what I think about it. The reason I'm going with this is, is power to weight ratio. Hands down, these are the best in the market. Uh, power to weight ratio, these, these two impacts kill it. 1.7 pounds, 1.5 pounds. I mean, how can you go wrong? Brushless technology, impact assist. Um, I love the impact assist feature. Some people may not like it. I like the battery styles like these where they come out from the bottom and they clamp on. I've not had any problems with DeWalt ever with battery issues. Some people have. So, uh, and Milwaukee's starting to have a few battery issues, but it's mostly on ratchets or stuff where you get into there. But these little ears, they, they're, they piss me off. I'll just, I'll just come right out and say it. I don't like how they come off and go on. I don't like these style of batteries. Um, so, and the battery indicator is on the tool with this versus the DeWalt where the battery indicator is down here. 
on the actual battery. So I don't I can check the battery without having to stick it into the tool. That is that right there to me. I like that a lot better too. Uh, just a little bit better technology, I think. And Dewalt's been around. Super awesome gun so far. I got to get some more time behind these to really get some, you know, get some more feeling for them. Not saying they're the best of the best or the end all be alls, but you know, it's just content I wanted to give to you guys and kind of show you firsthand what they look like head to head. So, anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.